Hello, Leo, and welcome to the Humble Seer. So, Leo, this is going to be your September of 2024 reading. I did a read about 8 to 12 months ago on the world will look different in September of 2024. And so I want to give you a heads up on what's going on in September of 2024. So let's get into it. Let's pull you three cards and then we will um, talk about them and then clarify them. And then we'll do a couple more, a few, few different spreads is what we're going to do. Okay, that wanted to come out, the hanged man. Okay. All right. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. And we've got Strength. Okay. All right, now we know that there's going to be chaos, which is why strength is coming in for you. Now, you're going to go into the hang mode, um, into the hanged man mode. You're going to reflect, but you're not, it's not like you're going to have a choice. You're going to have to go into reflective mode because everybody is. Well, some people will reflect, others will just be in their head about what is going on, why is this happening. So you're going to do that. You're going to be in your mind. You're going to try to, you know, understand and make sense and connect dots. That's what you're going to initially do. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is about, obviously, money. It's comforts, right? And with everything that's happening, you're thinking to yourself, again, this is happening. Why is this, what is, why is this world so chaotic right now? Why can't I continue to build my Ten of Pentacles? So basically, you're just going to be like, I need to build my Ten of Pentacles. I don't need this in my life. But the thing is, you don't have a choice. No one does. And that brings you to strength. And you're going to have to be strong. But you are strong. But you're going to have to be strong for people around you. Because there will be fragile people, I'm hearing, around you that don't know how to properly cope, okay? They don't know how to properly cope. And so when you don't know how to properly cope, somebody you're going to have to rely on. If somebody's around that's strong, those people that can't properly cope are going to depend on that lion, and that's you. So that's, the, you're the strength. You're the lion, and you are the lion. Okay, so we're going to clarify. Let's clarify the hanged man. Okay, the sun and the ten of pentacles. This two of pentacles. And the strength with justice. Okay. So these two cards here, the hanged man and the sun. You know, Leo. You're going to have a moment in time where you just kind of shut down. But then you're like, you see the sun peeking through. The sun is here. And you're like, you know what? I, I'm not going to let this break me. I've got the sun. I have everything I need. I'm not destitute like some people. You know, some people will be out in the cold. Some people won't listen to this and they won't know. They won't have an understanding. They won't have a heads up. But you will. You do. Right? Now, it's interesting that the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles come in because the Two of Pentacles can represent financial difficulty. And you're feeling that way because you're like, oof, you know, I spent a little more than I should have in the previous two months, maybe June and July. And it's like now these things are coming in and I'm concerned because, you know, maybe I have to support some people. Maybe people are dependent on me. And now with this thing happening, the, the monetary system is shutting down. Okay, now with strength... Because again, you were, you're the lion, and there's a lion depicted there. You're here in this reading strongly. 
and justice. So your strength and ability to get through this, I'm getting madness, is, you know, it's refreshing. Justice is here. Now, justice in the external situation, the global thing that's going on, justice will not rear its head right away. But justice will come. Okay, let's let's keep going. Let's get some oracle cards here. We're going to pull two oracle cards, okay? And tell more of the story. So yeah, it's like, you know, your, your money is affected. Okay. We have jail. And we have scorched earth interesting combination right jail and scorched earth jail is incarceration prison justice and punishment and we go back to justice and it just speaks to how you're feeling about this situation you're like these people that are doing this need to go to jail and score and they need scorched earth needs to hit them scorched uh, scorching lands is blazing sun and deserts searing heat and parched earth and that's how you're feeling about everything that you're seeing going on. It's like, you know what, prison people need, the justice system needs to kick in. But the justice system I'm getting is captured. All right, let's get some love. The justice system is captured. And it's just captured. Which is an interesting thing to say, right? All right, let's get one or one love card here. Now, love can be anything. Love is love. It's not about romance all the time. And I feel like people, you know, anytime they hear love, they go straight to partnerships. You know, love, romance, and all of that, sensuality. That's not always the case. We'll see what comes out for you. Okay, so we have let the fear go let the past go i'm sorry but it's interesting that i said fear keep that in mind can we remind rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life our past hold us back from our future and i get for this is to let whatever this is don't get out of your head about it okay and then we have hearing healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, this may be your kids, you know, feeling this way about you. But there's something strongly about parenting that's coming into the picture. Okay. Let's get a career card. Money and career. We've already talked about money up here. And you're feeling by this halt, by this world coming to a stop that money, your money is affected, okay, and you don't like that, okay, so we have entrepreneur, now what this card is telling me is get into your entrepreneurial world, tap into that, let that be your focus and watch it flourish, and people might think, well, you know what? Nobody's going to have the money. People will still have money. Okay? Doesn't mean that things shut down and people don't have anything. That's not the case. And by you tapping into your entrepreneurial, you know, you putting that cap on, you're like, well, I could start a website or my website that I already have, I can put up deals. Okay, you can buy two for one. I've got all this inventory right now. It's not going to move because, you know, maybe I have a physical store and people aren't coming into my physical location. So you're just going to find ways to bring that in. You're going to find ways to bring money in is what I'm getting because that's important to you the money situation you want to keep that going you don't want that shutting down and by you tapping either into what you currently have or you opening something brand spanking new 
you are going to prosper with this. It's beautiful. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Uh, as, until next time, you take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.